It's very good. I really am looking forward to, to seeing this relationship develop. I don't know. I, I just got that feeling. Listen, man. Me thinking you'd take me to the dance and see me all dressed up and realize you actually have feelings for me, no one face, because you do, but you're just too stupid to know it. By the time you stood up for yourself, Emma. He's gonna kill her? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. I'm here once again. <clears throat> Lost season four. Surprises, surprises, surprises all over. Surprises. What's new, right? <laughs> What's new? So we're here again, season four. I believe this is episode nine that we're going to watch. This is incredible so far, man. I love, I'm loving the show. And they're revealing a lot, but yet still, as I said, I've shared my thoughts. If you want to know what my thoughts are on what's going on currently in the show, of course, go back and watch the last video with my review. Watch the review and you'll hear what my thoughts are and everything that's going on. OK, if you want to know more, if you want to watch more of Lost, and you don't want to wait until I edit these episodes and put them on YouTube, make sure you go check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description. Sign up, watch ahead, whatever because I'm only doing like two episodes per week right now. I don't know if the future holds differently once you guys see this video. Maybe I'll bump that up a bit. I am planning to change things for the new year when it comes on to shows that I'm watching on the channel versus what I have on Patreon. Um, um, I think what I'm planning to do is to not have more than one show going on on a channel at a time so that those fans can be fed. And I think that's the direction I'm going to go into because of how I see the channel is going. I think when the, I mean, don't get me wrong. I want people to see what I'm reacting to. Um, right now we have Lost and Mad Men going on. I think I'm going to keep those two going. And then after that, I'm just going to stick to one. But then again, my mind could change by the time those shows are finished airing on the channel. So we'll see how things go. Anyways, let's jump into the reaction. And I will see you guys right after for the review. Let's go. You look terrible. Well. Why aren't they back from the boat yet, Jack? Well, Saeed said the engine was down. My guess is they're trying to fix it. And... Oh, 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 oh. They know him. Do you know who this is? He was on our boat. He's the doctor. That's exactly what he wants. To fight amongst ourselves. You're making a big mistake, dude. It's his to make, Hugo. Let's get on with it. Here. On your knees. But please, there's a baby with him. Just promise you. Turn the fence off. I think it needs authorization when they turn it off like that, or sends them a signal whenever that thing powers down. We need to get to the other house. It's easier to fortify and we'll have better position on the tree lines. What are you talking about? They're here. Is this a time travel <laughs> thing? What? Adwina! No, 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 wait. Do you speak English? Uh, 
Ah, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Surrender! Surrender! Oh, so you do speak English? <laughs> Somebody tripped the panic switch at our security fence. That means one of my people's been captured. How long did you guys debate amongst yourselves whether or not to ask me why the phone rang? Five minutes. Well, so much for our head start. Very important that you survive what's about to happen here, John, so I need you to stay close to me. And why would I do that? Because the people that are coming won't risk hurting me. It was slit. Yeah. You know anything about that? He was fine when I last saw him. Which was when? When? It's when is kind of a relative, relative term. Yeah. I was thinking about that, that there's some sort of time dilation you between the, the two places. It's weird. Any luck fixing my sat phone? Best case scenario, we'd only be able to broadcast Cone Squelch. Beeps and boops. Well, yeah, but you could still use it as sort of a telegraph, right? There's people who are coming. You're scared of them, aren't you? That's right, John. I am. How sorry are you gonna definitely... get back in? He's not. What's going on? Why the other? Just get back inside and wait until. Wonder, did they? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a room, please. Of course, sir. Is this your first time in Tunisia? Tunisia. No. But it's been a while. I mean, he does get around. He has a bunch of passports and shit. Certainly, Mr. Moriarty. Today's date is October twenty-fourth, sir. Two thousand and five. Yes, sir. Two thousand and five. Why is he saying Said? I just want to bury my wife in peace. Bury your wife? I don't know, bro. Let me just watch. Let me just watch. Hugo, get the baby away from the window. Put him in the back room. There's only one person that can help us now, and that's Jacob, and we have to go to him together. What makes you think I can find him? I, I don't even know where the cabin is. I know, but Hurley does. Open the damn door! She got her bell rung. She's gonna be all right. I just started shooting. Why? Those people were murdered to make you angry, James. So you'd be more likely to come storming in here and throw me to the wolves. What's wrong with that? Sounds like a great plan to me. Who is it? Who the hell let you out? People who gave me this. They want to talk. They want to talk? About what? That's the, um, he found her? So he found her and married her. Wow, <laughs> you certainly hid yourself. 10 seconds after he looked at you. Follow me to the grid. You spy on me. What are you doing here? How did you get here? I came across the Syrian border. Really not as difficult How as you How did you get off the island? Your friend Desmond had a boat. Right now. You remember the name Charles Widmore, don't you? The man who tried to convince the world that your plane was on the bottom of the ocean? There was a man at her procession. He goes by the name of Ishmael Bakir. He's one of Woodmore's men. Caught by a traffic camera speeding away from the corner of La Brea and Santa Monica. That's three blocks from where Nadia was killed. 
Why would these people want to murder her? I don't know. My question but exactly. I don't know. Just take it. Why would I talk to them? Because they have a hostage. Well, then they've badly miscalculated. Because every single one of my people is prepared to die in service to this it's island. It's your daughter. Yeah. My name is Martin Keeney. I'm an employee of Charles Widmore. Who's Charles Widmore? Leader. I'd like you to go look out your east window. All right, Mr. Linus. These are my terms. You're going to step out the front door, put your hands above your head, and you're going to walk straight to me. Once I have you in my custody, then I promise you that no one else in that house will be harmed. You and I both know that once you have me, there's nothing to stop you from killing everybody else on this island. What kind of guy do you think I am? I know exactly what kind of man you are, Mr. Keeney, and we can dispense with the formalities. Okay, Ben. You got it. Get your ass out here right now. Or I'm gonna kill your daughter. Choices, choices. You and your friends turn around, walk back to your helicopter. You fly away and forget you ever heard of this island. That's the kind of proposal. What do I get out of it? <laughs> please, Daddy. Just please, please. You have ten seconds, Ben. But it's not my daughter. Eight. I stole her as a baby from an insane woman. She's uh, a pawn. Nothing more. I'm not coming out of this house. So if you want to kill her, go ahead and do it. Hey, yo. Why is everybody just dying last two episodes? Like. Bro, we've lost some Daniel just left her body. whatever that dude's name is. It won't be gone for long. Um it's gonna be We changed the rules. You know I'm right. Our best chance here is to toss him out and fend for ourselves. Open this damn door! Is Charles really the villain? Really? You're being set up, bro. Walk. My name is Benjamin Linus. And I need you to take a message to Mr. Widmore for me. And what message is that? Where do you think you're going? We're finished here, Saeed. Turn around and walk away. Mourn your loss. Get on with your life. Once you let your grief become anger, it will never go away. I speak from experience. Ah, so this is life. how... Such so this is how he ends up working for Ben. So this is how he ended up working for Ben. That's how he became a headhunter, if you will. From that last flash, flash forward that we got from, um, for Saeed. Okay. All right. I'm following. I'm following. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. The woman I love. And I buried her yesterday. So don't tell me this is not my war. This is insane. Who was next? Maybe that was his goal all along. Was to recruit Saeed. I don't know if I trust Ben still. Open a damn what were you doing in there? Okay, listen to me very carefully. I need all of you to do exactly as I say. In a minute, we have to run from this house as fast as we can. You mean towards the guys with guns? No. We want to be as far away from them as possible. Did he just go? He can use it? Did you just call that thing? Go! Go, go! 
Yo, my said I'm out. Head for the creek. I'll catch up to you. Hey, where are you going? I have to say goodbye to my daughter, John. Brad, they really just killed Daniel, Carl, and. Uh, Signal. What are you sending? Okay. They didn't exactly say what happened to the doctor, but friends are fine and the helicopter's coming back in in the morning. He's lying. What the message said was, what are you talking about? The doctor is fine. That's why he because he understands. You know, cold. Why are you lying? Why did you say that the helicopters are coming back? Jack! Were you ever gonna take us off this island? You better talk up before you get gutted. No. Well, you finally admits it. That's the face of a man that's just right tired, bro. Up. Sorry about your daughter. Thank you, John. You told me you didn't know what the smoke monster was. You can ask Jacob all about it when we go to the cabin. I'm done with all this. Never should have followed you wackos in the first place. <laughs> you wackos. I'm going back to the beach and Claire and the kid are coming with me. Have you lost your mind? Hugo stays with us. Not a chance. Wait. Put the guns down. I'll go with Long. Hugo, it's okay, Sawyer. Please. You don't have to do this. You guys go back to the beach. I'll catch up sooner or later. <laughs> you wackos. <laughs> That's funny. You harm so much as one hair on his curly head. I'll kill you. Sawyer so has come a long way in, you know, caring about other people than himself. Oh, yes, I'm here to see Mr. and Mrs. Kendrick in 4E. What this house, huh? They're expecting me. <laughs> He's about to smack him in the head. I wonder when you were going to show up. I see you've been getting more sun. Iraq is lovely this time of year. This freaking McCutcheon. 60 or whatever. It's everywhere. Have you come here to kill me, Benjamin? We both know I can't do that. I'm here, Charles, because you murdered my daughter. Don't stand there looking at me with those horrible eyes of yours and lay the blame for the death of that poor girl on me. When we both know very well I didn't murder her at all, Benjamin. You creep into my bedroom in the dead of night, like a rat. You have the audacity to pretend that you're the victim. So, once again, I ask you, why are you here? I'm here, Charles, to tell you that I'm going to kill your daughter. Once she's dead, then you'll understand how I feel. You'll never find her. That island's mine, Benjamin. It always was. It will be again. Hey, yo. It's just that it's a very... It's... For some reason, there's this weird connection between everybody on this island. You get what I'm saying? And I don't know what the why the island chose like you know bends the natives whatever over i don't know what you know dharma did on the island that made, made the island is just like i don't want these people here whatever the situation is i don't know man what's the connection and also he's saying that you know i can't kill you why can't you kill him that's another thing as well 
Like, why can't you kill him? Is is it because he has a connection with the island as well? And it's like, are they... <sighs> this is insane. Look at this. I suppose it is. I suppose it is. Sleep tight, Charles. Yeah, I'm saying... These flash forwards are messing me up as well. You know what I'm saying? They're messing me up because I'm just like... It's something that I feel like they shouldn't do, but it's still so intriguing and interesting what you're doing because it's just like, okay, what's real and what's not real? You know what I'm saying? Like, should we follow the story based on what they're telling us? Because I still feel like the the the, the rug is just going to be pulled from under our legs at the end of this series. I feel like there's more to it than what they're showing us right now. And I just... I'm not putting my trust entirely in some of these flash forwards that I'm seeing. Obviously, the scene between Ben and, and, and Charles, that's a flash forward. The whole thing about what they showed there in this episode with him and Saeed and stuff like that. So we found out essentially how Saeed ended up started working for Ben um, after the fact. He found his girl that he was looking for all these years in, in L.A., she, um, but she got killed in L.A., he brought her home to bury her and they were still keeping tabs on him, which is like, you got to understand that um, just like how Charles is keeping tab tabs, Ben is also keeping tabs. And I think the thing about Ben is that he's very manipulative and we can't forget the type of person that he is because that's who he is. He manipulates to get his way. So even though he may seem like the quote unquote good guy right now, I still don't trust him. I still do not trust his motives. Are you doing this all because of them killing your daughter? I don't believe that for a hot second. I think this is just who he is. And maybe this is motivating him more because he's saying they changed the rules. What rules? Did you guys have an agreement that you would never kill each other's family? Or, you know, in this hunt for the island? You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Who has ownership of the island? And... He said, he said in the conversation is like, I know that everything you have is what you took from me. So the island, the money, everything. That's why I was saying that he must have got on all that stuff. That was the Dharma initiative. That whole thing was set up by Charles. That was his thing, but he can't seem to look, find back the island because the island ain't easy to find, right? We all know this, that it's not a very easy place to find. It's like it's kind of like off the grid, to put it simplistically, right? It's crazy how this series is gone and the things that they explore and the way how they're, t the way how they're telling the story is just unbelievable. And that's why, you know, there's just this nagging voice in the back of my head saying, Things are not what they seem or things are not as what they're showing you on the screen. It's kind of like you. The, the only thing that I, that I feel like is going on correctly right now is that they're on the island and Jack and them is trying to get off the island. They can't get off the island. The whole thing about Michael, that's believable as well. It, that was a flashback indeed, you know, showing how Michael got on the freaking freighter that was good because that's good storytelling because at the end of the day of course we're gonna ask the question how the hell does michael end up on this boat and where is walt so they explained that they used the entire episode to explain that because they knew if you're gonna bring back a character like this you're gonna have to tell us especially when when they've been forgotten for a whole entire season like you can't just bring back a character and it's just like, um, um, all right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like with a prison break situation, right? When Michael came back, we thought Michael was dead. They had to explain, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They didn't do it the same exact episode, but I talked, I stopped it when I saw it that Michael was still alive. I stopped it, right? I stopped it and I talked about it because I was just like. You're going to have to explain this because if you don't explain this, you completely lose points for me. Because if you just be like, I, I guess, you know, he, you know, he, he, he didn't die at that, that time. You have to gonna explain to me why he's still alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's essentially 
um that situation here they used an old episode to the whole process what michael was going through and all of that is good the storytelling that is going on in laws is something that it should be a case study because the reason why i'm saying this and the reason why i'm praising this type of writing so much is not only that it is difficult to pull off and keep people interesting interested and intrigued at what's going on and want to know more this deep into a series is not an easy thing to do i've told you guys series that goes over like four or five seasons usually there's a huge fall off that happens i.e i can give you a perfect example of a show that just finished the walking dead the walking dead had six to seven very good season i would say very good seasons and then there was a huge fall off and i talked about it you know what i'm saying that you know season eight it's not as good season nine kind of picked picked things back up and went back to the greatness and then there was a fall off i would say 10 and 11 was just not as good as the 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 the, the first like six or seven seasons of the show i talked about that because there's it's not easy to keep a show a tv series going for that long and keep it just peak you know what i'm saying viewership you know what i'm saying it you know um I, I have my gripes with game of thrones ending and stuff like that but you can't deny that they had you know seven good enough seasons right they had i think they had probably like five six very good seasons and then there was there was a fall off for season seven and then season eight just it was all spectacle there was nothing the they, there was i don't even feel like there was anybody writing the show like it felt like they just threw a bunch of shit together and just gave it to us and you know people was like oh the dragons <laughs> i'm not here for the spectacle i'm here for the story tie things back to all the prophecies and all that stuff that's what great writing is all about it's not about the spectacle it's not about you wowing me with special effects i could give two shits there's plenty of shows out there that do great with spectacle and that's cool if it's a culmination of things but there has to be payoffs for the story if you don't have payoffs you leave kind of like you know um you leave mysteries not necessarily to be discussed later but it felt like you just forgot about them you get what i'm saying there was no hint towards those mysteries and if you end the show like that it just doesn't make sense so in my opinion when it comes on to lost they're doing an excellent job so far of just keeping you off balance and off kilter of what's really going on you know what i'm saying you know in present day what's going on which is what's going on on the island them trying to get off what about this boat that's not really there to rescue them they know that they're lying and all this other stuff that part of the story we can follow and follow implicitly but these flash forwards and flashbacks make things a little um convoluted as in hard to understand what's if these are taking place or you know and as i describe it it's like the flash forwards are giving us the answers to the test um and i feel like it's not real i feel like all these things are, are not going to play out the way how we're seeing them because why would you reveal that before we get to it you get what i'm saying and especially with the last episode with with um with with jen finding out that jen is going to die like we, of course we don't know how he's going to die but i don't think you would reveal something like because jen is a major character in the show I mean you know what i'm saying like he's the beloved character at the very least he's a beloved character maybe not a major character like jack but he's a beloved character in the show for sure so um i'm just looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next um can't wait we got what five episodes to go for the season and yeah man I, i'm thinking of just reacting to one more today and then just just knock out the rest of the season um next week um i think that would be probably because i reacted to three today already um i'll probably just do the next four next week just do one more today um excellent writing man excellent writing leave a like leave a comment 
this is insane what's going on i don't know I, I still don't trust ben i still don't trust him still don't trust him i'll see you guys next time peace